Hi there, I'm Janine of Liane CGI. Uh, a little while ago I made this render of a shampoo bottle with soap bubbles. And I posted it on my Instagram account and several people wanted to know how I make the bubbles. Well, let me show you. So, what have we got here? We've got a big blob and a HDI environment with some interesting lighting. It's just a tunnel and some lights inside this tunnel. Because we need something with a bit of contrast and some bright lights to reflect in the bubble. Otherwise it'll look pretty flat and boring. And by the way, I get all my HDIs from hdihaven.com. And what I've also done is turned on depth of field for the camera. Let me just switch to the camera view. This is without depth of field and this is with depth of field on. That's to make the bubble stand out more in front of the busy background. So let's start by first of all making a new material for the bubble. I'm going to call this soap bubble. I'm not just going with the uh, default principle BSDF uh, shader. I use that for really almost everything, even for glass and other transparent things. I'm going to switch to the shading uh, workspace now. This is the material for the soap bubble. The first thing I'm going to do is turn up the transmission to 100% to make it fully transparent. And next we have to turn the roughness all the way down. We want a perfectly sharp transparency. And you can also change the IOR to, well, I've chosen the one for water. I'm not sure what's the correct IOR for soap bubbles, but since they're mostly water, I'm just going with this uh, 1.333, the IOR of water. And right now this kind of looks like glass, not really a bubble yet. We need to make it look thinner. I'll just make this a little bigger. And for this, I'm going to add a layer weight node. I'm going to use Control Shift to make this visible in the viewport using the viewer node, um, using the Node Wrangler plugin. And what does this layer weight node do? In fact, first of all, let me change this to facing instead of Fresnel because facing has a stronger effect. So what does it do exactly? The layer weight node creates a gradient uh, from light to dark. It'll make everything that faces the camera black and everything that's facing away will be white and anything in between, of course. And we can use this to make the bubble more transparent in the middle and more solid, more glassy towards the edges. So let me plug the layer weight using the facing output into the alpha input. And there we go. Now we can use the blend slider, the blend value to make this either, well, 100% uh, glassy or thinner more transparent or even disappear. And I'm going to set this to a blend of 0.2. I think this looks perfect. A lot less glassy and more like a soap bubble. And now we need some color, of course, because a soap bubble isn't just a boring white transparency, but it's actually got some coloration on it caused by the oily film on it. As far as I know, Cycles is not capable of simulating such an oily film in a physically correct way. So we're just going to have to fake it. And for that, I'm going to use a magic texture node. So let's find it. Magic texture. I'm going to make it visible again using Control Shift and the Node Wrangler plugin. And there we go. We've got some random coloration. This node is often used for making fabric kind of uh, textures. Um, but in this case, we're going for the uh, color output. First of all, we need to increase the scale or actually decrease it to make it bigger. Decrease the scale value to make the scale bigger. Something like this, uh, scale of 1.2. 
And we can also play with the distortion a bit. Oh, that's too much. <laughs> I'm going to go with a distortion of 1.3. And now I'm going to plug this into the base color. And we're almost done. The only thing left to do is maybe turn up the uh, saturation to make the color more intense. You can do this simply using a hue and saturation node. Just plug this in between here. And you can turn up the saturation. You can type in pretty high numbers here and it won't really make a difference. Five looks the same as a hundred because, well, once it's fully saturated, it won't go any further. So I'm just going with a value of five to make this fully saturated. And there we go. Now we've got a nice colorful soap bubble. I've been putting this file on my Gumroad account in case you want to download it. And did you know I also just released a set of four lighting setups for Blender and Cycles? They're pretty awesome for getting your creativity going when you start a new project. And they work really well for product renders. And since I'm all about educational content and teaching things to people, this uh, set of lighting setups also comes with a PDF of product lighting tips. It'll help you make better product renders and get the most out of these lighting setups. These are on my Gumroad account as well. This is the link and it'll be in the description as well. And as always, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Until next time, bye bye.